Hey you guys, it's Wednesday, June 19th. I don't really have a project to show you today, but I just thought I would come on and chat. So, let's chat. No. Um, it, was, <laughs> it was a funny day today. I went to the store to film uh, for the new products. Done that already. And then I got home and the, the guy for our AC was here, so he ended up working in like four hours to fix it. So now we've got a brand new compressor in there. Hopefully this is going to work. Um, it's already getting cooler in the house, so that's good. I don't really have a project to show you today, like I said, but I think I'm going to show you my process for cataloging my stamp collection. And when I'm done, I'll do an overall, but I think I just want to talk to you about my process, how I do things, how I organize, how I get ready to do it. Um, so I'm, let's go take a walk in my old classroom. I'll show you there. You've seen this before. There's my photo box where I take photos of my projects right there. And here I have... <laughs> So I wasn't joking when I was talking to you about unfinished projects. They're all here. These are all unfinished projects that I need to put together. This as well. In that box. In that bag as well. And all of these. Crazy, huh? And... Okay, hang on. Let me just move back here. This is my long table where I've decided that I will do all my stamp cataloging. And the reason why I chose this area is because I have my big old computer there and I can pop a DVD in and watch a DVD while I'm doing this. So, all right, this setup is all my binders. They're mini binders. They're already open so that I can flip really easily through them because I don't like to slap binders back and forth. And I have also a melamine shelf that I put there because this table is a bit um, springy, if I can say that way. It's one of those foldable tables there. You can see the light right there. And uh, when I stamp a large stamp, I don't get a good impression. So by putting that extra shelf there, it's very sturdy and I'm good to go. Here are the stamps that I'm about to catalog and these are pretty easy because most of them are not wood mounted except for a few so I'll be able to go through those very easily but underneath here that box there is a whole bunch of I have like probably I would say a good oh good a hundred boxes of these stamping up wooden stamps that I need to or that I want to unmount and put in DVD cases I've already started doing that. I have some more on the other side and then I'll show you that later. And then on top here sits uh, a few of those easy mount sheets. And in that box there I have um, larger binders because when I started that system I was cataloging everything in big binders. And it came to a point where the binders were too big, too heavy. And the other reason why I chose this mini size, these are it by the way. These are the binders, they're the Staples brand, you've seen those before as well. Uh, is because they fit right next to uh, or right into my um, stamp storage system. So I'll be able to just put them side by side and uh, just, you know, grab one whenever I need to. Instead of a big old binder. Alright, so when I'm ready to um, to stamp or to catalog, let's say. Here's my setup. I have those sheets that I cut in half in this binder, in these binders, and um, actually here. This, these are the um, sheet protectors that they sell to go with the binder. Half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet will fit into this, so it's perfect. So what I do is I grab, let's say I'm doing this little guy here. So I'll grab, I'll grab that stamp set and I will first go to the binder where they belong because I might have some space in some of these sheets. So for instance, these are, okay, these are animals, funny characters, there's a sentiment as well, there's uh, the honeycomb 
uh, elements in there that I need to put in the backgrounds and elements binder. These will go with the animals uh, and also kids because it looks like a kid's theme um, stamp. So I'm going to pull out, so as I said, I have kids which will be in the binder I to Z. So I'll go to the kids section. As you can see, I have already some there. And I will flip through that section to see if I have any room on any of these sheets because you want, you know, you want to maximize your, your real estate. And if I can fit whatever uh, stamp I have in a sheet, like here for instance, if I had one stamp, I could fit it in there. I could, I could fit probably a couple of stamps right here. And, um, and then I do have this sheet right here. So instead of taking a brand new sheet and wasting paper, I will take that sheet and I will stamp those characters. I will also do the same uh, in the animals section, which will be in this binder. So you see the same, um, we've seen this in the kids section because they're kind of kiddish, right? So every time I look at a stamp set, I find all the possible categories in which they would go. In essence, that's what I do. And then I would, um, like here, I will stamp, I will identify in which box they are uh, stored in. For instance, I'm on box 174. So all of these, or if I have room for all of those, it doesn't matter now if a stamp set is separated or not because I do have a reference. So I'll fit as many as possible in this case, and then I will write the name of the manufacturer and the name of the stamp set as well as the number of the box they are in. So that is my process. Here I've got all my tools that I need to catalog that. Um, you know, this is the marker I use. And and these are the post, I use the post-it labels to identify each sections in my books. Um, and I, you know, this stamp set, for instance, has a sentiment as well, so I will put this I will stamp this in my sentiment binder which is right here and so on and so forth so that is my whole process and every new sheet gets put into one of those plastic uh, page protector I have a few and these are the oops, plastic protectors I use they're the Avery brand they fit perfectly in the binder that I have and that is it. So once I'm done, I'm going to show you all the categories uh, that I've chosen for my binders. And I will also do a quick walkthrough of uh, where they're stored. But I just wanted to show you how I go about it, how, what my process is. Uh, obviously for the, un the uh, wood stamps that I want to unmount, the process is a little different. I have to unmount them first, obviously. You know, I've kept those for the end. I should have done them ahead of time, <laughs> uh, just because I know this is gonna be a tough job. But uh, I'll get through it. I'm determined. I'm gonna do it. And that's it. I hope it makes sense to you. I just wanted to share that because I've had a few questions about how I'll go about cataloging my stamps. When I'm done, like I said, I'm going to do a complete walkthrough uh, where I store my stamps and I will you know, show you what the binders look like and all that. Um, I need to do also like a front page or something cute, you know, because right now I just have the, uh, the brand name, like the, you know, the uh, I don't know what it's called. Whatever. Whatever they put in the binder when they sell new binders. So that is it. That is it. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. And I hope to talk to you real soon. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I will see you later. Bye.